Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing uh, really great today. So, just had a news update from uh, this website here, which is uh, msfsaddons.com, a really great website to keep you updated with the latest on uh, releases to the uh, SIM platform. All right, so the very latest one I uh, have been notified of is this Navigraph's new avionics plugin for MSFS at it adds chart and simbri functionality to the G3000. All right, now, um, so when we had the um, aircraft and the avionics update one, what this did, it kind of knocked us back a bit, all right, as regards uh, the working operation of the G3000. So uh, we'd lost the functionality of uh, Navigraph, all right, and um, well, we didn't have simbri functionality then anyway, but yeah, we've we've got it now, which is which is good news. All right, so uh, yeah, so that's basically what this is all about, and it's great. It's good news um, for those of you who love to use the G three thousand. So now, uh, just going back, just going to my website actually. Sorry, my channel. All right, so uh, around about a couple of years back, I uh, made a video on the TBM nine thirty G three thousand. Okay, really, really detailed video. It's got 22K views so far. So that's two years ago. If you're new to the G3000, you want to really um, get stuck in with it and get to know it a bit more, then this is the video for you guys. All right, so do click on that. And also, all right, so just a few months later, uh, we had another update on the TBM 930, uh, the, or the G3000 actually. Navigraph Charts Link Update. Okay, so um, the ability to actually link your Navigraph charts, all right? So uh, now if I just go to that video over here, all right, and just going to just gonna play a bit of that video uh, from this section here. With the G3000 is simply to go to MFD, okay? So the main flight display, go to Utilities, okay? Go to Setup, and then go to Database Status. Okay, and there you will see. Right, so if we just go back a bit, just go back a bit here, right? And then go to database status. Right, so um, so I've had a few viewers who had previously watched my video and they've written in and told me, look, you know, the database uh, tab button is greyed out. Now, I didn't know this because I haven't flown the G3000 or I haven't flown the TBM or uh, anything that uses the G3000. Uh, for a good while, you know, been stuck on the A320, Airbus A310, and um, you know, everything else, right? So I didn't know about this, so I had to actually go back to the sim, to the aircraft, and really find out what what were they talking about, so I can actually give a response. And this is what they're talking about. This is grayed out, all right, and that's because obviously the AAU1 update. Okay, so that's the reason for that. Um, so now uh, what to do, right? So if I go to, uh, right, um, so if we go to the Navigraph um, downloads page, okay? So navigraph.com downloads. And what you need to do is update your nav data center if you haven't done it already. Okay, so uh, they're now calling it the Navigraph Hub. All right, so this is what you need. Download that uh, if you're using Windows and install that. And that will come up as this. I should show you. Okay, right. So you may be familiar with this. This is where all of, all of your air act cycles, um, your charts, uh, everything gets. Um, this is how it updates um, everything on your or on your various aircrafts, okay? And you need to keep an eye on this from time to time because, you know, just need to make sure that um, it's updated. So for example, look, uh, this needs updating, that needs updating, and you've got here um, other add-on packages such as Fenix simulations, A320, that needs updating. Okay, so just keep an eye on it from time to time, make sure it's all updated, all right? Now, so the new thing you're going to see is Avionics plugin G3000, G5000. Okay, that is what we need. 
All right, so I've already installed mine. If you install it for the first time, you'll see it says install there. Just click on it. Make sure the SIM is not running, otherwise it won't do it. And that's the same for all of these. Just make sure the SIM is not running. Okay, so uh, once that is installed, all right, let's go to, uh, let's go to the SIM. There we go. So I got it on pause. Let's just take it off pause. Um, resume. Right, so here we are in the SIM. Okay. Uh, and we've got the TBM. All right, so we're at Barcelona at the moment. So, whoops. Let's just get this off. Okay, sorry. Camera keeps sinking down. I have not got an answer for that. I don't know why, guys. Does anyone know why it keeps dropping to the ground like that? I've had this issue for months and it is really, really annoying me big time. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, here's Barcelona, right? Um, now, so what we're going to do is just go to the uh, cockpit here on the TBM, the very, very gorgeous and lovely TBM 930, all right? So, sorry, this is going side. No, 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 no. What am I doing? There we go. Okay. Um, and, oh, look at that. I haven't done this for so long. It's unbelievable. Oh my goodness, listen to the sound of that. Oh, sounds so cool, doesn't it? And look at this, look. Ooh. Right, so. Um, right, so you can see here, yeah, it's all up to date, it's all up to date. Right, so this is it, really. Now, um, if I follow my, <laughs> my own instructions, so MFD, what did I say, MFD? Right, and, right, look, immediately now you can see Simbrief. Okay, that wasn't on there before. Now, just um, let's skip that for a minute. Let's go to utilities. Is that what I said? Utilities. Come on, right? And set up. Right there we go. So you've got here look database status. That's still grayed out, but now we've got Navigraph settings. All right. So click on that. Okay, and now you can see it's got its own dedicated tab. So general, sim brief, sim link, account. All right, so account. Now I haven't signed in yet. Click on sign in. Okay. Now the cool thing about this is that you can actually click this page, right? And it will open the Navigraph downloads page. So click, look at that, look at that, sign in. Okay, allow. Right, so that's linked. So let's go back to the sim, like so. There we go. And look, sign in. <laughs> nice. All right, sim link, uh, PC platform detected. Okay, I've had actually one or two issues with the sim link, to be honest with you, uh, over the past few flights, you know, especially Navigraph. You, know, you, you click the GPS uh, lo locator and uh, you keep saying um, sim link is not running. You try and run it and it just doesn't work. So yeah, one or two little issues with that at the moment. All right, so that's that, that's that. Okay, sim brief, load procedures, yes. Load airways, yes. Uh, general, dis disable empty tabs, yes. Well, I haven't, I'm not touching any of that at the moment. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, so we can just go back, right? So, so basically, that is that. Okay, um, that's all. That's all set up. Okay, um, and you can click on charts here. Uh, chart selection. Okay, um, yeah, pretty much. Look. You've got charts here, so I tell you what, let's let's just go home and let's go to Simbrief. Okay, now uh, when you do go to Simbrief, so uh, let me go. Where's the Simbrief page? Da, da, da. Oops, sorry. Uh, Simbrief. Right, let's go. Why is it not coming up? Come on. There we go. Right, so Simbrief. So I've done this last night. Just any random uh, flight. So here. Uh, no, no, actually, sorry. Uh, that was, uh, should have been in Cuba. So uh, let me just go on a new flight. Um, uh, depart. 
uh, level. That's Barcelona to, I don't know, um, EG, KK. Let's just do that. Okay, a graph type all the way down here, TPM 900, whatever. Okay, so let's just generate that flight. Okay, just generate that. Okay, that's generated. So let's just go back to the sim, like so, and uh, Let's just clear that. So refresh list. There we go. All right. So look, look. Nice. That's got that. So, okay. Request in progress. Ready to import. Import. Importing. Nice. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool indeed. Okay. So, uh, da da da. Let's go back. This is the first time I'm doing this, guys. It really is the first time. Um, but yeah, you can see it's all imported right here. Okay. Um, and you can scroll down. You can see the whole of your uh, flight plan, airways, as we said, load airways, so on and so forth. And if we go to uh, home and uh, chart selection, uh, airport info. Uh, sorry, you got to press this soft key here. Uh, so here it is. Okay, I'm just trying to look to see how to get the charts up. Um, taxi in. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. That's that is it. That is it. It's all installed. Very nice. Love it. Love it. Yes. Um, yeah, well, and that's it, guys. That's it. I mean, I'm not sure what else I can show you on this one. It's all installed. It's working. That's up. Uh, it's up and running. All right. That, that is it. That's how you do it. Obviously, you've got to have a an account with Navigraph. Okay, so it only is available to those who are on the unlimited um, a subscription on Navigraph. Okay, so really, really good to to have that, and uh, it just runs runs yearly. Really, it just comes out of your account, and uh, you won't know about it. It'll just know the only time you don't, you won't you won't know about it is if you don't pay the subscription. All right, nothing will work for you. Um, but yeah, this is it, guys, and very very cool addition there. And uh, they've actually updated this a lot. You know, I really, really, really haven't done any flights on the TPM for ages and I think I'm missing out you know right so that's it I can't think of anything else to cover on this I just wanted to uh, just uh, let you guys be aware that you can actually now uh, use Navigraph and Simbrief with the TPM 930 all right so that's it for this video guys uh, thanks once again as always for watching Please do hit the subscribe button. I really do need your, need your support from the channel. So uh, there will be much more, many more videos uh, to come uh, in the coming few weeks. All right. So thanks again for your support, and uh, I'll see you all again uh, uh, real soon. Take care for now. Bye.